so we're at the start of another adventure uh, this time we're doing the Trans Erie from McCumfuck to Conwy now a bit of a disclaimer I am going to butcher the Welsh names all trips so apologies for that if anyone gets offended um, Matt's not with us this time so I'm with Rich and Ash We're all hoping to do the uh, GB Duro next year, or the GB Duro route. So it's a bit of a, a test run for that. So we just left our campsite. We didn't get up here till dark last night, and then it started raining. And it's wet as hell everywhere. But I think it's drying up over the weekend. So it's a three day ride for us. So we're camping two nights in the hills. We should be good. So we're leaving McCum Clutch now and uh, I think we've got a bit of road for the first couple of hours. Just had a bit of a nasty road ride from the campsite back into town but it's fine now. So we're on to the first little climb of the day. I think there's a bit of road for a little bit just to start off with. There's a hell of a lot of water flowing everywhere. It was raining so hard last night. So we're going to try and do about 45 miles a day. If we do that, then it'll be a three day ride, which is pretty doable for us. Anyway, hopefully it dries up a bit later. So I'm pretty sure we're sort of in the Diffie Forest area now. I've ridden here before. Uh, we rode the trails up here one year. God, it's wet everything is absolutely saturated rivers are flowing high it's not really raining too much right at the minute this first section seems to be mainly on the road actually which is okay this is a nice spot it's just a shame it's so wet it's a cute little village i think it's drying up a little bit hopefully that'd be good they like the hills in wales don't they Even the animals are looking a bit damp and uh, miserable today. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's just uh, lifts your spirits a bit more when you can um, see the sun and it's nice and dry. And you can ride in a t-shirt. So let's hope that it dries up later. So we just had a bit of a climb up through this forest. Yeah, it's pretty steep in places actually. It's all been, uh, it's just been logged, I think, over the other side of the valley recently. Looks so grim when they do that. Very destructive, but it all goes back, I guess. So I think once we get to the top of this, there's a decent descent. And I think there's some sort of village or something on the other side. So we might stop for something to eat or coffee or something. Well, that's the uh, pretty much the top of the first big climb of the day. We've got two more, I think, big ones. We're right up in the clouds as well now, so it's pretty damp. But uh, yeah, it's the first one down. It's really spooky seeing those tree trunks, the ones they've left that are just stripped bare especially in the mist. It's like a nuclear bomb's gone off or something. Should be on the descent anytime soon, a few minutes. Should be good. There's a long old climb up there. Well, we just had a little stop to get some water. There's a nice water source there, nice and clean. Climbing up the other side, the water is a bit uh, brown and not very nice actually, so that's a good find. Just filled up and uh, got a few more miles downhill to a village where we're going to get some lunch, I think. So, uh, still wet. Actually, it's quite weird. You see the mist kind of rolls through these trees. It looks like smoke almost. But, uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully it'll start drying up soon. It is damp, but it is what it is. 
the rivers are certainly flowing pretty high at the moment. There's a lot of water moving around. Really nice woodlands actually around here. This is, it's not a pine forest anymore. It's really nice. So we have a tailwind at last, which is bloody lovely. The wind is certainly pretty strong today, especially when you're going uphill into a headwind. Oh, lovely bit of descent with a tailwind. Happy days. So this is our first mechanical of the trip. This is always this is always the most fun thing to do <laughs> when you're out bike packing and the weather's tremendous. Poor old Ash got a very sharp rock that by the chances of it going into his tire like it did are pretty slight I would say, but he now has a pretty big gash uh, in his tire. I've got a there it is. There's my little souvenir. That was the uh, fender. Properly sharp. It's actually like a, almost like a like an arrowhead, Very isn't it? Very sharp. Yeah. That's what did the damage? So we're just heading into a little village to try and get some food. It's lunchtime. We're about halfway through the day now. Abergingoen Cafe. Breakfast, lunch, 750 meters. Perfect. Oh, excellent. Huh. Uh. Pretty wet along here. So I just stopped and had a nice meal and a warm up and a dry out. We're in this lovely sort of gorge. Lovely, isn't it? It's a lovely little gorge with a nice trail to ride alongside it. Very pleasant. You wouldn't want to fall off the edge of there, would you? Nope. Man, it's pretty slippy along here. I've already had a couple of slides. So wet and muddy. Yes, the river is a bit higher than it was normally. That's a nice outcrop up there. Very dramatic si uh, left hand side of the valley, very rugged. I think this is the nicest valley we've been in so far actually. So we're on the second big climb of the day I think. We'll go up and over here and then we're down to the estuary I think and there's a bridge. I think this is going to be a bit of a slog up here. Got to admit my legs aren't feeling it today. Normally, after the first half hour or so, I feel okay, but my legs have been feeling heavy all day. 
so I hopefully feel better tomorrow. So we've been climbing for quite a while now and uh, and uh, into the mist, can't see anything. It does go up, doesn't it? We thought that was the summit, but it's not. A bit more to go. Real shame, because we just can't see a thing. All we can see is mist. Anyway, anywho, as the Americans say, guess it will get better as we descend out of it. So we descend off here, and then we're at the estuary pretty much. And then uh, got to cross a bridge. And then we've got a big climb up to the forestry where we're going to camp tonight. So uh, one more big climb after this. So we made it to the top of the climb. Bit of an undulating ridge line for a few kilometers, I think. And then uh, we dropped down to the estuary. Which is a bit of a uh, milestone for today's ride, really. Because then we've got the one big climb out of there. And then we're looking for a camp spot, so. Good. That is dark, can't see anything. Barely even see the people in front of us. I think we must be fairly close to the end of the ridge now. Then we start dropping down. It's got really misty again. Can't see anything. Quite spooky in there. This is a fellow traveler that we've just met. The advantage of a bigger bike, I guess. Thank you. The after all. Thank you. I have to say, I'm pretty disappointed in the uh, views in Wales. We've seen nothing all day. Yeah, oh, jo joking aside, it's a little bit frustrating because uh, I'm sure there's some amazing views here, but we've pretty much been in fog and mist all day. So. Pretty big lake on our right hand side now. I did see it on the map. I think there's a couple here side by side. Again, can't really see anything. I think there's a little island out there from what I can just about make out. Oh, this is an interesting little bit. Wow. Ha. Huh. What an interesting hedge. Here comes Ash. Is that the estuary there? Yeah. Lovely roads. Oh, yes. Well, that's been a fun descent, even though it's just a road descent. Beautiful little valley.
Oh, maybe it is the one we're going for. Was that the bridge we're aiming for? No, that goes to Palmer. Ah, okay. Two ton weight limit. You just ruined the shot, man. Sorry. This must be an old railway line or something. Railway lines normally mean really flat, actually, so that's good for a minute. And there's the estuary. It's definitely been quite a bit of variety on the uh, on the landscapes on this ride so far. You know, in one day, probably less than 10 miles from our destination now. It's a very pretty tramway. So we're lucky enough that we've made it to the bridge before it shuts. So I think it's probably six o'clock. It would have meant uh, five or six mile detour. So we're pretty stoked about that. Happy days. Thank you. Oh, quite relieved that we're actually getting to ride across this rather than all the way round up there. Just gonna have a little break on the other side, I think. This is a somewhat bigger bridge than I was expecting. Well, we've made it over the Bridge of Hope. So now we've just got to climb up into those hills to the forestry up there and find a camp spot. So we're not far, I guess. Another six or seven miles, maybe. All uphill, unfortunately. So we just had a super steep climb up from the bridge. Steepest climb of the day so far. And now we're just heading for the forest, really. I guess it's gonna be a bit more of a gentle climb from here. Great spot, actually. Some lovely houses up here. I guess we're a, we're a few miles from camp now. We're on 39 miles for the day, so I think we aim to do 42 or 43 ish. No, 45, sorry. Yeah, we've probably got about seven miles to do, I guess. Give or take. It's obviously, getting a bit dark now as well. So I think we might be setting up camp in the dark again. Spoke too soon. This is really steep. Oh. Just what you don't want at the end of the day. So this was our campsite last night. Um, we got here in the dark and it was pissing with rain. So it wasn't the best setup. And this was the first spot we found that we could, you know, pitch a tent. It's not the best ground, but actually it was not bad in the end. A bit rocky. Um, yeah, disappointing really, because had to just all sit in our tents, cook our food. Um, not very sociable, unfortunately, but it was hammering it down most of the night. Uh, windy. So yeah, disappointing campsite wise, really. Really enjoy sitting around and having a chat in the evenings, but it wasn't to be. So uh, yeah, we're in this sort of first forestry section. So um, it's rich. So yeah, so we're gonna get packed up now. Well, I'm nearly packed up, just gotta get the tent down and then head off.
get a breakfast in Cody Brennan, I think, like in the trail centre. That's our aim. Anyway, let's see what today brings. <laughs>